DC here. Hi, guys and gals. Hey, hope you're all well. It is Monday, and often on Monday, I will be doing a few tags. And today will, this Monday will be no exception. Uh, let me see. I have two tags that I'll be doing, one after the other, uh, in two separate videos. The first one will be the Jasmine tag for this week. So five questions as usual. Hello, Jasmine. Hope you're well. And uh, I'm going to answer those questions. So question one. Uh, <laughs> the worst name to call a dog and why? Well, I was wondering at first when I saw the question if it was like the worst swear names that you could give your dog when he doesn't listen to you or something like that. But I, I realized that probably it's the worst name that one could give to a dog. Well, when I was a kid, all of our dogs were, I was going to say, pretty standard names like uh, King, Noiro, which in French means Blackie, or things like that, you know. Uh, um, uh, our dog was called uh, Dago, uh, which was the name of uh, the f f uh, of the dog, it was the name of a dog in a kid's book that we would read to the kids in French. So uh, we gave him the same name. The worst name, I think it would be something like idiot or barstard or something like that you know um i used to know oh goodness or bum something like that you know a really bad name so that when you're like in the in the fields or in the park or something and you say hey idiot come over here or you know hey uh, you uh or whatever you know you could see the you know, situations it would put you in yeah Okay, I'm certain there's others. Um, question two. Um, something I guess that this generation will never do what we did as kids. I just listened to Jasmine's uh, response, and it's pretty similar, actually. I'm thinking when we were kids, uh, we would all play outside, uh, especially when summertime was there. We would have around 9 o'clock in the morning around nine o'clock in the morning, we would have our cowboy and Indians or war games or something like that. Or we'd split into groups. Um, we would uh, play uh, kick the can, hide and seek, uh, uh, stuff like that. You know, just basically the games that you see still on older movies. We'd make go-karts, we'd make go-karts and go and uh, run them down the uh, uh, play, run down the, uh, the the church. We were near the church, and there was a steep hill. So down the, the steep hill, uh, we uh, play hockey in the in the in the road because it, the road was icy <laughs> uh, and stuff like that. None of that would be done. We would ha we would build cabins in the woods. Um, already, my kids, none of that was done anymore. Nobody dared. And people say, you know, that we're in a better time in the world. How come everybody is like looking back on their childhood and saying, wow, it was really better? I don't know. Anyway, yeah, so that's it. That's my answer. Question three. What did you do over the weekend? Okay, normally on the weekends, we have the grandkids, my kids and the grandkids over. We make a barbecue or a meal. They were not feeling well, the kids, the grandkids, I mean, so they didn't come over. So... This weekend, uh, well, we did a bit of shopping. Uh, Mrs. DC and I, we went to a play, a play that was uh, made by, uh, by a group of kids at the, I'm not gonna say at the church, but a Christian group, the Fabricants de Joie, the Makers of Joy, uh, which made, uh, it was on Gladys Aylward, which is a Chinese, um, a person, an English person who was a, a missionary in China. It was a musical. It was two hours. It was really hot. It was like about 30 degrees. It was hot. So we went there. That was on Saturday. Then on Sunday, Sunday morning, uh, pretty much as usual. Um, every morning's when I get up, actually, I do my, I, I have Bible readings, and I do my, I uh, do some Spanish lessons. So on Sunday morning, we went also to, to church at nine. Um, then we listened to a uh, service on YouTube from our friends in, 
in Headington, that's near Oxford in England. And then on Sunday afternoon, we just kind of relaxed and vegged out. I'm trying to think, did we do anything particular on Sunday afternoon? No, that, that's it. Yeah, we called the kids and see how they were and stuff like that. Made a few, uh, made a meal or something just to get her, Mrs. DC and myself. About it? Yeah, I guess so. Okay, that's what I did over the weekend. What? Question four. Longest time you've gone without food? Uh, 10 days. 10 days uh, every, it's been a while now, but there was a period every year uh, around a bit before Easter in the Lenten period over at the church, we would have uh, fasting and prayer as we would call it. In the evenings, we would have like a prayer meeting or something like that. And uh, we go without solid food for that period. And uh, yeah, 10 days, okay. Uh, question five, have you ever written a love letter to someone? Well, yeah, yeah, actually, um, quite often even. Um, and yes, uh, to my wife, yeah. So, um, yeah, and actually they're all, especially the first ones, they're all in a, in a bag, in a stock, uh, I was going to say, in a bag, in a box, uh, in the garage. Uh, which is not a good place at all to keep them because they've become very uh, well it's not the question that they became humid but you know in a humid place they kind of smell now but we're not throwing them away no okay those are the five questions which I have somehow managed to answer relatively quickly and they were good thanks a lot Jasmine and hope you're all hope you're well everybody I hope you're well and Thank you, Jasmine, and LBDC signing off. Take care. Bye-bye.